Hi guys, in this uh, quick video I will show you how to make the treble crochet stitch. Um, this is in US terminology. If you're using UK terminology you will know this stitch as the double treble. Different terminology but same stitch. Um, and this is a quick little swatch I prepared for you but we'll go over the stitch together in just a moment. And I will also show you how to use the treble crochet to create really pretty designs um, with some texture, especially when you're looking for a fairly easy way to substitute your bobble stitch. Um, so let's get started. The first thing to remember is that because this is quite a long stitch, you will need a number of your starting um, chains here to form the first part of your stitch for that, for that first row. So you will need to place your first treble into the fifth chain from hook. So this is the first one here. This is the second one. This is the third the fourth and the fifth. So here, right where my left thumb is pointing at is where you will place your first treble. And to do that, you will yarn over or you will wrap your hook around your yarn twice, like so. And then you'll go into that fifth chain, go through it, yarn over, pull through, and you will have four loops on your hook. You will yarn over, pull through two, you will yarn over again, pull through two, and you will yarn over again and pull through the remaining two. And that's your first treble crochet stitch. Let's try this again. Yarn over twice, go through the next chain, yarn over, pull your hook through the chain, you will have four loops on your hook, you'll yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there we go. So in some ways, the treble crochet is just a, an elongated and even bigger um, double crochet. You're doing the same thing, but more times. So let's go and try a couple more, a bit faster. And then I'll meet you when I reach the end of my row to show you how we finish that up and how we turn our piece around to start on the next row. But let's do one more first. So again, wrap your a hook around the yarn twice, go to the next chain, put your hook through, yarn over, pull through that chain, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And if you're making a whole row of the stitch, you will just continue in the same way along the entire piece. So here we are. I've completed the entire row with treble crochet stitches and I have now to complete just my last chain. So I will yarn over twice, go through the chain, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And here we are, we have a completed chain of trebles. And you'll see it's quite a loose um, stitch, doesn't have a lot of um, stability to it. So like I said before, it's usually combined with other stitches. But now that you've completed um, your row here, what you will need to do is chain four, and turn your piece. So you need four chains here to act as your first treble. And again, depending on the pattern that you are following, you may be asked to place another treble in that same stitch from which your chain started. But um, more often than not, your first um, chain here, that chain four will act as your first stitch, which is why important to, it is important to always remember it once you're turning your piece um, that you don't miss that, that first chain, which is your first stitch. And from then on, it's really the same type of work. But I mentioned before that a lot of the times you can combine the treble crochet with other stitches. 
And one of my personal favourite combinations is to combine it with a single crochet stitch or what you would know as the double crochet stitch if you're following UK terminology. In which case you would chain one and your first stitch would be a single crochet stitch. And then you would do a double, uh, sorry, you would do a treble. Like so. And then another single crochet, another treble. And you would just continue in this way by placing a single, a treble, a single, a treble, a single, a treble, a single, and another treble up until the end of your piece. What you need to try and make sure is that you start and you finish with a single crochet just to keep your design intact. But here, I'm just going to finish this row to show you how it looks. Uh, it's a very easy way of achieving a puff or um, raised texture. So here you see, because the single crochet is so much shorter than the treble, it has essentially squeezed our treble and formed these beautiful peaks which add wonderful texture. So if you were to make this design, um, the combination between the single crochet and the treble, you would then do another row of um, single crochet stitches and then you would repeat again uh, single, treble, single, treble, and so on and so forth. You just want to make sure that your trebles are facing the same um, side of your piece, uh, all of them, so that you get the effect um, that you want. But that's just one way of using the treble crochet. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and happy crochet!